This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We are featuring R.J. Rosegarten, a.k.a. Bob. I knew Bob in the past as being such a fabulous mayor when I raised my children in Great Neck. So I thought, what a wonderful idea to have a retrospective of Bob's work. And if you look around the gallery, you can see since he's retired, he's been quite busy <laughs> making a lot, a lot of art. It's compositions in mixed media, which is the broad term, using found objects. It really started a very long time ago where I did one about me when I was the mayor. It had mayor badges and it had all of my business card and all that kind of stuff. And I thought it was great. And I sold it. But two weeks later, I went to my eldest son's house and there it was. He had bought it because it was his dad's stuff in the drawer. And so I thought that was kind of neat. And that kind of started me on the junk drawers. Every piece has my grandmother and grandfather in it. I mean, you know, why not? I mean, it's my junk drawer, and why can't I put my grandparents there? And then I decided I would put them in every piece. I have an idea in my head. Sometimes they're finished already. Sometimes I've already worked out the pieces. I know what's going to go there. So I take the pieces and I lay them down. And then I start moving pieces around. And then I start looking at other things that I don't have on the table. I lay down the first first bunch of material, okay? I mean, this is from an antique show. That's from the Brooklyn flea market. Uh, I can almost tell you where every single piece came from. I then take a photograph of it. I remove everything. And then I start to build it by using glue, you know, to keep it in place. And it takes about 10 days before I'm really happy with what I put together. Some of the pieces can hang within themselves, so that works. It's the design of the piece that's important to me. It's the balance, it's the color of the wood versus the white versus other pieces that I put in the piece. There's all sorts of stuff. It's very eclectic, all right? Because your junk drawer is eclectic. As I, as I finish a piece, that's my favorite. It's, it's, it's really random. I, I must tell you, except for maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen pieces, um, there's no great meaning behind it. So if you see it, you can read it. I want somebody who looks at a piece can read into it what they see in the piece. It's not what I see in the piece. I want them to be able to talk to their friends and say, oh, did you see this? Look at that, there are eyeglasses and there's a nose and there's a paintbrush and oh my God, the, the guy has a mustache. Oh, okay. So I'm in garage sales and flea markets and antique shows and anywhere I know that there's gonna be material, though I don't necessarily know at the time what I'm gonna use it for. I'm into mannequin heads, as you can tell, and mannequin hands. The process is wonderful. I mean, I really, really enjoy the process. It's fun. Um, I don't get crazy. I don't get, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know I can do it well. I know that it's interesting to people. Um, so doing the piece becomes a very positive experience for me. Mm -hmm. 